Hello and welcome to my channel Home with Sarah Jane. Today I wanted to share with you what we're going to have in our morning basket in January. So, we always like to keep a few games inside of our basket just to get things going in a fun way. So the first thing we have are two decks of just regular cards. We like to use these like cute little kitty ones. And then we also have these puppy cards. And all we do with these is we'll play like Math War. So we'll both lay down two cards from our deck and we'll either add it, multiply it, subtract it, divide it, and then whoever has the biggest answer wins the cards. And then the next thing we have is the Usborne Famous Painting Cards. These are really fun to have. Of course, my daughter's favorite painting, The Starry Night, is on the front. So these just give you, or should I go that way, a picture. And then it has a whole bunch of information about the painting on the back. Another thing we like to keep in our morning basket is this Monuments and Landmarks Go Fish. And then this one is fun. Instead of collecting two cards, you collect four. But it has a whole bunch of information about different landmarks. And then the last game I plan on having in my morning basket is Boggle. So Boggle I'm actually using for a language arts game. What we will do is we will, you know, have the dice all scrambled up and we'll find words within the find words within there and we will write those words down. And then after that we're going to talk about the type the parts of speech that those words are and we'll also use those words in silly sentences. My oldest will probably write a story using those words, but I just thought this would be a lot of fun especially for my youngest daughter. Now for books. The first thing that we do in our morning basket is history. We use The Good and the Beautiful for history. This is year four. We've already done the other three. This one we really enjoy, but I do add a lot of other resources to my history. So we will be adding in, and this is just for you know where we're at in this history, who was Sojourner Truth, who was Abraham Lincoln, who was Frederick Douglass, and then for our readers, we'll be using, what is this one yet? Yeah, numbering All the Bones. This one I'm actually really excited to read. It sounds really good. And then we're also going to be reading 40 Acres and Maybe a Mule. And then for science, we will be using, and this honestly could be history and science, but we are going to be doing Archaeology for Kids. And this one is the, with 25 activities. These I really do enjoy. We did the Native American one and it was phenomenal. Um, but these, they just go through different topics. Like this one, it shows like the tools and things like that. But we are really excited to get started with that one because after this one, we're thinking about doing paleontology. And then to go with our archaeology unit, we will be reading... The Usborne Starting Point History, Who Were the First People? When Clay Sings, What Was the Ice Age? Where is Machu Picchu? Inca Mythology and Other Myths of the Andes. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this one, but it's a sacred book of the Maya. Now, we studied a little bit about the Mayas and the Incas, but we didn't go into, you know, a lot of it. So I thought that this would be a good way to add to that. And then for our author study, we're going to do who, well, now it's who was, but this one is who is Stan Lee. We watched all of the Marvel movies over Christmas break, so I thought this would be just a fun, quick read for my kids. And then because that one will be so fast, I decided to do... A second one for January and that would be who was Dr. Seuss and so for that one I'm just gonna read oh the places you'll go 
Horton Here's a Who. The, what is this, the snit, Snitches, Sneetches, Snitches? I don't know how to say it. And other stories. Looks like I'll, looks like I'll be Googling that. Horton Hatches the Egg. The Lorax. And If I Ran the Circus. And then for Artist um, Studies and Music. We only do art and music once a week, and it usually alternates, so one week we'll do art, one week we'll do music, but my kids are always crafting, and we're always listening to, um, like, classical music and things like that in the background of our day, so it's not like they only hear or, or do crafts one day a week, but the first thing we like to use is Lives of the Artist, um, and yeah, this one's called Lives of the Artist and What Their Neighbors Thought. And what I like about this one is that it gives you just enough detail. So this is Vincent Van Gogh, and then it has, you know, just a little bit of a biography on the artist. And then it gives you some of the, you know, better known work. But it was only a couple pages long. It takes us like maybe five minutes. So I like that one. And then we also use Lives of the Musicians and What the Neighbors Thought. And this one, same thing. So only it's with, you know, musicians. And then also once a week we do Ready to Read Music, which is this book. This one is more for my older daughter. She plays the piano. And right now she uses Hoffman Piano Lessons Online. And she's just using the free version. But I've noticed huge improvement um, in her piano skills since she started. And this one I like because it, it literally starts at the beginning. So like right here, the very first lesson, they just talk about the staff, you know, and then the second lesson is just a treble clef. So it doesn't, it's just one little chunk of information at a time. And we really enjoy that. Now, I know this may seem like a lot of books, you know, especially because January isn't a month that we school the entire month. We actually, we haven't even gone back yet. We go back on Tuesday the 11th. So this is only for about two weeks worth of our morning basket and then it will switch again for February. We might be finishing up one or two of our history readers, but yeah, for the most part, this is what we'll be doing in January. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for stopping by. Bye.